Oh, praises to Ahaya, Ashur, Ahaya, Ba'ashem, Yeshaya, Walk, Rewalk. This is Jabbar Israel, and today I would like to speak on the topic of strong drink. The Proverbs tells us to give strong drink to those that are heavy-hearted and ready to perish. Let them drink and forget their sorrows no more. As a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Gad, and as a disciple, and as a prophetess of the Most High, Strong drink is very medicinal, is medicinal to me, as many of you I suffer uh, and consider we're on the curses. The Bible states that we can forget about our worries for a moment because weeping endures for the night and joy comes in the morning as the book of Psalm tells us. And... We're under the curses, and not only that, as a prophetess and a disciple, Yeshaya told me that I would receive a hundred times more than others just for being a disciple, and likewise, um, a prophetess. So I have it double, if you will, than others. I drink, consider the fact that the stiff-necked Hebrews especially the GOCC, starting with the car, is about to be judged. His mouth is still an open sepulcher. And not only that, uh, I'm like Noah in the end times. No one has the time to hear what the Most High is saying. And if they do, they want to be like the Pharisees and scribes and want to sit in the seat of the prophets or Moses but do not want to get their hands dirty by prophesying what the Most High has stated. And I, on the other hand, do not focus on views or things of that nature. I am out here prophesying and sharing the word as the Most High has commanded me to do through His Son. So I'm going to keep doing my job until the time comes and He plants my feet like He showed me in that vision on the Egyptian Sea, whether Pharisees and scribes uh, refuse to let go of that seat that they sit in because they're going to have to give it up. They think they got to give it up to me, but it's Yeshia who's going to snatch the seat away from them. And if they do not give up that seat, he's going to snatch the crown. I have already called fire and brimstone in Philadelphia. I think I'm going to have to keep going back to the most high until the stiff necks are turned. A lot of things that you see, sisters and brothers, I, being a prophet or prophetess of the Most High, has called for. A lot of storms, a lot of deaths, the Most High has placed this kind of power in my hand. It's only now that He wants me to reveal myself, and I am. But let's continue on with the topic at hand. I didn't mean to deviate. We're talking about strong drink. Let's read from the book of Genesis starting at the 49th chapter in the 12th verse it states his eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk it is a foreshadowing of the coming of the messiah it is to be taken often literal and metaphoric because we know that geshia went through a lot of pain and we also know that being a hebrew I have never gotten to this point, but if you drink, the eyes will become bloodshot red. Now, let's go to the book of Matthew to get a second witness for the scripture. And it reads, And it came to pass, when Yeshia had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now, when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Yeshua answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive sight, and the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. And as they departed, Yeshua began to say unto the multitudes, 
concerning John. What went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaking with the wind, but what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yeah, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of women, that there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied unto John, and if ye will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. He that have ears to hear, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, we have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. For John came, neither eating nor drinking, and they say he hath a devil. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man gluttonous, and a wine-bibber, and a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. You notice that? They said, here comes a wine bibber. But before that, we read that. Yeshaya said, those that are blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in him. Why? Because he was doing all these miracles and through his disciples doing the work that the Most High has called him to do. Yes, I sip wine and yes, I prophesy. And sometimes my eyes get weary, but I'm going to keep doing what I have to do. And he stated that they called him a wine bibber, a friend of the publicans and a sinner. But he came back and said, but wisdom is justified of her children. It is wise to go out to these public places where our people are hanging out and, and many feel that all hope is lost. The Bible says that the Spirit goes wherever the Spirit goes. And this is justified through wisdom. And this and I'm the wine bibber like my king, Yeshia, that he's going to plant this wine bibber's feet on the Egyptian sea when it's all said and done. Last verse, the 20th verse. Then began he to upbraid the cities. Most of his mighty works were done because they repented not. Upbraid the cities. That means he went to repent. Approach, but they still didn't repent. So I'm calling out these Pharisees and scribes, GOCC, GOCC, Ricard. You can suggest certain people or wine bibbers or whatever it might have you. But when correction comes, like Ishaya did, he went to upbraid the cities because they repented not of what they done. GOCC, Ricard, you should repent of what you've done. Judgment is already coming. I had to jump start it. I had to pray and jump start to the Most High to get it started early. Because you're sitting in the seat of the Pharisees and scribes and refused to repent. Therefore, he raised up a female Moses, a female prophetess. You should have known this a long time ago. When we first met, I don't play. I'm a sinner just like everybody else, but I'm trying to get my feet into the kingdom there are different parts of the body i am a prophetess you are not did you think that you was going to pull the wool over my eyes why the most high has anointed me to do this work in these last days so this wine bibber like my savior the most high has called and dealing with our people you need gallons of wine Stiff-necked, unrepentant, lording over the Most High's heritage? Proud. 
The Most High states that he's going to lay down the haughtiness of certain individuals. The Bible tells us that we have to become all things to all men, and I have done so. I go wherever the Most High sends me, and I speak, and I do what I've been called to do. No question about it. And I'm not like the hypocrites with the long robes at the markets looking for attention and praying long prayers. As you can see from some of my videos, I get straight to the point. I prophesy and I share the word. The yoke is easy. Uh, the Most High has allowed me to present his words over the past almost 10 years now. And I am still growing in his word. The Most High states that he's going to lay down the haughtiness of certain individuals. And the time is at hand. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And for those who refuse to take part in the tree of life and to drink from the fountains of living water, let them be unjust still. And the bride say, come, Yeshia, come, thy kingdom come. Amen.